my own Just like that, with the blink of an eye, the Christmas is gone. I hope you guys had a great celebration and hope you guys are rested well. There are some things that I started to implement in the Christmas decor to make things more simple and one of them is to decorate the window. I save some space with that, I can change the rund and it's not much that I have to store during the year. It looks festive from the inside and from the outside. Another great addition to the decor is to putting some branches on some tension rod. It's very easy to clean and it warms up the space with this greenery. But there's not much that I have to store. It's only the curtain rod which I can put back in the window. But the benches, I'm going to just compost them. The snowflakes that I drew on the window is very easy to clean. I used some vinegar with some water. On this window I removed all the branches inside of my home, which wasn't smart. <laughs> but the following one I'm going to take off, I took them outside and it was a much less mess afterwards. Another way where I cheated a little with the decor, I have some decor that kind of a bird style one, like this basket. I can put some greenery in there for the holidays, but rest of the, the year I like to put the mittens in there and hats and other random things that are in the entryway. And also these little houses, I keep them out during the year. And for Christmas, I just dress them up with a little bit of a red and green color. I shared a tutorial in my last video how I make these garlands and I just love them so much because I can make many versions of them. It, it needs just a very little space to store them during the year. And as much as I love the Christmas decor in the window, it's also nice to take them down because that means we're going to get more daylight coming through the window. these ornaments in these boxes these are from ikea i bought them a long time ago so i'm not sure if they have this section one but i really love them because i can just separate the itty bitty items this tablecloth have seen many <laughs> dinners so that needs to be washed as well these rubber chickens <laughs> they are very addictive once we start to play with that it's hard to stop and we love this so much but it's kind of like a nerf bullet they are everywhere <laughs> but it's all worth that it's really fun Taking down all the Christmas decorations, I like to add back some greenery just to warm it up a little. And I also am going to add some curtain as well to soften up the space.
before I continue with the Christmas decor to take them down I have to do a reset in the kitchen and I just wanted to add this to you guys if you have a dishwasher and you have a smaller space on the upper uh, rack you can just push on both sides this button and that will give you extra space to put taller dishes in there Again, I'm gonna miss those greeneries up there, but they are really dry. They've been up for almost two months and I will get more daylight through the window that way. Since I'm already up there, I'm dusting a little bit and cleaning the window. I've got this fun hand soap from my friend for Christmas and I'm about to try it out and it smells really good and this is the most time consuming part of taking down the Christmas decoration when I'm taking down the tree and the most tedious part was is to taking down the ornaments because the tree was so dry it basically it just like an octopus it was kind of dried around the ornaments and <laughs> the way it was put it up so it was very difficult to take them down We are treasuring the last days of the holiday break and we had some fun at the mountains and we're still eating some comforting food. What's on my procrastination list? <laughs> it's a lunch bag that I need to fix. It's been a while that is like that, so I can't really procrastinate it anymore because tomorrow the school it starts. So my older son has to have this fixed. Not knowing what we lose. Don't know what we last like. yeah. you you after taking down the Christmas decor, it looks a little bit bare, so I'm already putting up some Valentine style decoration just to add some color and fun to it. And these are Christmas ornaments, I'm just keeping them out a little bit and I'm trying to find a place where we don't hit our head in there. <laughs> so I'm going to move it around and just trying to figure out where it would be the best. A load a day helps my productivity it definitely helps me to make sure I finish up the flooding and the whole process of the laundry making like putting away the clothes if it would be more probably I would um, just not run away but 
<laughs> probably I wouldn't finish it so that helps me that it's in a smaller chunk Just because the Christmas is over, it doesn't mean we can cozy up in our home or we can't make it even more warming and charming. <laughs> so I have this project on my mind for a while. It's very easy to make. So at first I just tried to take out the orange, but I find it easier if I just get the juice out and then the leftover I can just scrape it out easier. So <laughs> I had a little bonus to drink there and it was a way easier process and I'm just going to use some dried up <laughs> leftover decoration from my Christmas decor and I'm going to grind it. adding some cinnamon to it and then I'm going to just get some orange zest in there as well I am going to use some bee wax I measured out two of them with this orange that's a good guide but also I like to add some coconut oil so that way it will burn nicely I find that it's, it's just more efficient with uh, using it with some coconut oil because it has a lower temperature to melt. I also added some anatto just to color it to orange color. Another way to cheer up the home after the holiday season when the decors are done I like to purchase a few stems of flowers and these were on sale so there's always a corner where they are selling some flowers that are not as fresh so I'm going to fluff them up with some greenery from outside plus I'm going to check it out what's left after the storm This big storm that we had has definitely made our <laughs> property very messy. We just cleaned it up. It was clean and now we are back to square one. <laughs> If it's winter soup it's a must and meanwhile my family is not really a big fan of the soups so it's gonna be just for me I'm going to prepare a tomato soup and it's a very easy recipe I just added some tomato sauce and then lots of maple syrup lots of pepper oh and some onion powder basically that's all the recipe and whatever pasta or um, noodles that I can think of I'm just going to add to it it's not a soup that I would eat every day but once in a while I'm craving that soup My little orange candles are done and they look very pretty and smell really good. The orange or tangerine oil definitely I can smell that. Unbelievable how fast this time can come when everybody has to go back to school and work <laughs> I thought we we're going to have a lot of time which we did but still it just came too fast 
and uh, what's the best way to start the year is with some yummy food and just having breakfast together. There are many things that I am very thankful that I have in my life and is one of them is you guys for being here and watching my videos and thank you so much for your all your sweet letters and for the presents that you have sent the heartfelt words and the way it was all wrapped it was just very heartwarming and I felt a love from that. Ooh, wow. She fingers, said, paper towel, Noemi, go don't be lazy. In the direction, because they kind of go in like a swivel motion. I just pinch it with my two fingers and kind of twist the pen. Glitter some. Okay. Another don't is do not throw away this little plastic protector. I almost made the mistake of doing this because it, it was on the ground and I almost just... Maybe I'm doing something wrong. That way, there's usually one, so that way you are ready to go. Thank you so much for watching until the end. And if you enjoy this content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!